what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're actually going to change the oil in a 2012 ford escape this will apply to any 2008 to 2012 ford escape mazda tribute or mercury mariner i believe any that have the inline four 2.5 liter or others should be very similar uh down in the comments let me know if i'm wrong but anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and change the oil on this one um really easy straightforward job on this so if you have one of these and can do it yourself highly recommend it anyways guys let's go ahead get straight to it all righty guys so what we have here is a drain plug right there underneath and a oil filter right here in front really like this setup it's really easy to get access to everything and do what you need to do under here um so guys when you're on the uh nut here as i always show try to get a six point socket if you can this is actually a 15 millimeter and just put her on there and um don't go driving at home or busting her loose make sure you got a good grip on there and then i usually do is just give it a couple knocks i'm holding the camera so i can't show you but I give it a couple knocks and she'll break loose and then once she breaks loose you can easily just go ahead and get her the rest of the way it's assuming somebody didn't uh gold it on there too tight um before you and then just gonna go ahead and take out the drain plug and it is windy, so I'm probably gonna get dirty. But that's all right. And just like that, drain plug is out. Let her drain. Now what I like to do, guys, I'm gonna go back up top here for a second, is I like to open up both the uh, dipstick and the actual oil cap itself. And just let air in there that way all your oil can come out real easily so we'll go ahead and let her drain rest of the way here and be back in a moment all right now as you guys can see it's just peeing a little bit there so it's about done so i'm gonna go ahead and take the drain plug put it right back in and this part is important and i always stress this because certain cars i get you walk into a mess um but anyways get your wrench well, first, tell you what, let's go ahead and wipe up the oil. All right, now get your wrench. And then when you're tightening this, guys, get it snug, right, to where you can't easily turn it. And then all you gotta do is just one, two, three little tugs. And guys, that's fine. Stop there. You're not gonna win an award by how tight you get the drain plug. That's all you need. Save it for the next guy. If you end up stripping this out or something happens, you're in for a world world of hurt so just snug it that's all there's a gasket there for a reason you don't need to drive it home all right anyways let's get to the filter next all righty and the filter on this is right here so hopefully this isn't uh too much tightened either and we can go ahead and just spin this off and look at that whoever did this oil change last i approve most likely the dealer too because it says motocraft ford I'm guessing that's probably what the dealer uses when they're doing the oil changes. All right, so we're gonna let her drip a little bit there so we don't get covered. And we'll go ahead and spin this off the rest of the way. You're gonna get a little dirty, it's okay. That's why you wear gloves. Hopefully this doesn't slip out of my hand. It's getting really slippy. Okay guys, we're ready to put the filter back. So we've got a Bosch premium filter here. In my experience, it doesn't matter a whole lot what kind of filter you use, as long as you don't use the cheapo garbage, you know, no filter filter. I'm talking like a few dollars, but if you spend, you know, eight to 10 bucks on a filter, you're doing pretty good. Anyway, get a little oil on your finger and just coat the gasket on the filter. All the way around, just get a nice little coating there. Just like that, and that's gonna allow it to make a nice seal on the car whenever you put it up in there. And just in case you wanna see what that looks like. There 
it is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and screw the filter in uh, and sort of line her up there. And spin it on. And same thing here, guys, as the drain plug. Get your one hand and keep turning until you can't turn anymore. And then give it one final uh, turn like that with your hand and that's it leave it that's all you need rag and just wipe up the residual oil around it and that's it done down here ready to fill her up all right guys we got the plug in no oil filter on last thing to do is to fill her with oil so the uh, fill plug right here and as you can see this one actually tells you what it takes 5w20 um, which we have so guys this one takes five quarts of 5w20 um, I'm gonna go ahead and use full synthetic which is required or suggested I guess by the manufacturer I don't think it's actually required um, anyhow 5w20 full synthetic now there's a lot of uh, probably opinions and such around what oil to use things like that me personally I found SuperTech uh, works just fine. It all has to meet the, uh, the same specifications um, for the uh, API service. And as long as you see that, um, you know, the oil isn't bad. And I've been using SuperTech for years and haven't had an issue even on my daily drivers. So it uh, seems to be pretty good oil. All right, so let's go ahead and put five quarts in. Last piece guys, go ahead and fire it up, lay underneath, check, make sure you don't put any leaks anywhere. I'm pretty confident that we don't. Alright. There we go. A little change on the 2008 to 2012 Horse Absolutely. Lastly, go ahead and check the level. So I got the car on the flat. Wipe the stick off the first time. And go ahead and put it back in. And as you can see, we are right there in between the X's right in the center which is absolutely perfect all right guys that's a wrap for this video hope you're able to change your ford escapes oil just like that pretty easy job if you have any questions drop your comments down below be sure to be sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content there'll be more car stuff like this and uh if you're a avid diyer and like working on cars really appreciate the sub guys more to come Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Be sure to always get out there and do it yourself.